after completing the very basic program which is operations on matrices now moving moving towards the example 2 which is generation of various signals and sequences i suggest here the students to go through the prescribed books or textbooks are topics that have been provided to you by your teachers or else go through with some standard books like bp lathi for signals and systems and also if possible kindly go to one more book which is very local here in india that is anand kumar you can go with various books available in the library but try to understand what are the basic signals and sequences that are available now we will move into programming part first of all for the generation of various signals and sequences i will go to the iter window here i am taking one if you go to the new button here it will magn magn magnify this one if i go to the new button here you will get the script once you click this script you will get the script here and it will four and here if you start type you will get here Asterisk mark, same as of that of your C programming language, which goes off when you go and save it automatically. It has to be saved with some name. For example, let me tell write this one P R G one, and you can see the extension here dot M. I will save it. This has to, this current folder must be in open condition when I am doing some programming on this editor window. This must be in open. If it is not in open, automatically MATLAB will ask you to choose the path when you execute the particular program. And coming to the file naming of the program, keep it in mind that you should always start with alphabets and it shall not be start with a new number. It can be alpha numeric. It cannot be numeric and alpha. And also keep it in mind that there must not be any spaces in between the, what you call the file names that we have started to work on. Now, let me start the programming part here in this one window, slowly. I have already mentioned you in the module three, what are the basic instructions we are going to start? Let me start here. Very first, I will assign some number, some alphabet for in entering the input value, n equals to input input of then here unless until you go through the entire thing here this particular whatever be the unassignment the terminate termination is incomplete it will show you the error here in input input once you put on this one once you once you mention this semicolon here this so-called error that is showing just like a word document it goes off same as of your C programming language, here semicolon gives us the end of the command. Now here, I would like to write in single quote. It will start it in the purple color. You can write here, enter the length of the sequence. Most all take it in a even numbers only to avoid any confusions in the beginning of the programming part. Once you enter like this, then we go towards 
to mention which type of signal we are signal or sequence we are going to do first of all we will start doing with the simulation of sequences one more important aspect is commenting in the program whereas c programming language we comment with the help of double slash or slash here we do it with percentage it will turn into green color means it is useful for commenting purpose and this particular line whatever type after percentage is not an except executable line or instruction i mention here step sequence now i would like to go with the logic x equals to we know when we are going to get unit step it is always once we discuss in the it once returns us the values of all unity values it is let us mention from 1 comma n n means 1 to n what are the input sequence you give here from 1 to n all the values in the particular sequence or signal will be having one values on the graph similarly let us some now assign the range from which range to which range we should have the particular ones here let me start with small n equals to zero let me start the graph from zero to capital n minus one already we know n is the length of the sequence now i have mentioned zero to n minus one each two means zero two if i put double each two here and mention some value here that value indicates that it is zero to n minus one in the intervals of one here means zero to one one to two 2, 2, 3, 3, 2, 4, and so on up to n minus 1. That is what it represents, the range. Now moving towards the next instruction here. Once we have given the logic here, I mentioned, as I said, importance of figure command for having figure one here. I mentioned it as figure. I represent number one here. Later, as I'm talking about sequence here, in place of plot, I shall use stem command. As I mentioned in the module three, please, whoever have not seen this one, please go to module three and check out what is the purpose of using stem in the programming part, stem. Now I mention here, stem of n small n comma that is range for the x here don't get confused what is x x is the input signal or x is the sequence what we have to generate stem of, that is stem is trying to plot the discrete data later i will go with axis command this is the command which is useful to give us let me tell you in simple words the first two terms it will have four terms actually minus one space n minus one space two you can observe here four terms minus 1 to n x axis will be of the range minus 1 to n y axis will be of the range minus 1 to 2 that is what axis term works on the plot later i will go and have the simple command of title as i said once again it should it must, it must be in single quotation if it is if it is uh, not closed by one more condition it will be given in red color let me close it in between i shall write the text what i want to keep it as a title there i will mention step sequence once i mentioned step sequence here 
now i go towards x level of keep it in mind x is lower case x level of what must be there on the x level we have to give as per the program we should as per it is a sequence we should have the samples here up to the values of n on y level we must have the values of amplitudes similarly i go with grid space on for the purpose of first of all i will start with our grid here i will execute this program let us see what we get here once i run this one uh, it is waiting in the command window to input to be entered in the prompt i give some four value here enter it let us see if we don't get any error as yes, we don't get any error we get the output value here step sequence is done you can see x level samples up to n amplitude and we can see the axis here in the program that has been mentioned here for the purpose of understanding i will open the program i would like to maximize this one such that you can understand the program as well as both let me explain you each and every point here with the help of this one such that you can practice these things for the other remaining programs you can see here x equals to ones one two n values n equals to zero two n minus one i have put down some values i have put down n equals to input here i have given four values it is up to four as the value i have given in the command window four here one two four that is zero two four minus one means three zero two three is the range three is the range but with the values of one but the values of one step n comma x but i have started with axis here minus one minus one to n that is x axis is minus one to n means minus we have n value that is four you can see here similarly coming to the y axis minus one to two minus one to two you can observe here mm -hmm. next to the title it have step sequence it is given here whatever type here it will come down as a title here now coming to the x label samples and whatever i type in here next one is amplitude whatever i have typed down in y label it shows on the axis y as the indication this is how we see a step sequence similarly i have pre-written i'll close this one i have pre-written this entire program for all the other programs such that it will be easy for us to utilize these instructions once more i will go for a simpler simplest of the things let us go to, i have already included the entire program in program one starting step sequence here next as i said i didn't mention grid here let me go to this point if i mention grid on here and execute this one you can see the difference now enter the value of six here now you can see there are grids available here grids this is how the grids will work it's will there is grid on will work let us go to the command window. Let us go to the program one here. This is how we see the remaining program. Next one is impulse sequence. I will take down from here impulse sequence. Look at this one. I will copy this one and I will put it down this one in our in our already mentioned program. Let me run this one. Let us see the com commands what are used here. X equals to 
zeros 1 to n1, ones 1 to 1, zeros 1 to n1 means it will have the values of zeros 1 to n1 and ones only at the one. Now let's see how it displays this one. Come, let us see this compare sequence. Now look at this one. Only at the origin, you can see the impulse value. From our basic knowledge also, it is very helpful for us. Two figures now, figure one, figure two has been popped up. Like that, I can go to the entire program of all the signals and sequences available here. Ramp sequence, exponential sequence. Just you have to understand the logic behind the programs where you have used. Then only you can say that the programming part has been very easier. Square wave signal. Almost all of them are most similar. Sync here. Look at this command. Sync. Sawtooth. As we said, the commands which are used here are of natural notation as they are most frequently discussed words in our subjects or courses. Here, a few more commands, chip signal, sweep sequence. Like this, we can go ahead with different ones. Let me go and execute this program. Let us see how the outputs will pop up one by one now. I have to go to command window and enter the value here. I will enter six here as a even number. See, I have given got the values of exponential sequence, ramp sequence, ramp sequence, impulse sequence at step sequence. For getting the other values, I have to answer some more four value frequency value here. We get the sweep signal and its respective sweep frequency. Similarly, start to signal and its start to sequence. And similarly, sync waveform and its sync sequence as stems here. Square, sinusoidal, all these programs. Let me go to some signal here. In the signal, while we are having a signal here, now coming to the point, plot will be the useful one for the signal. Whereas for the sequence, we use the command stem. Subplot is as mentioned, it is of two by one order and the one represents the position where it is standing out, whether it is in column or row. This is how generation of signals and sequences is carried out in simplest of the possible way and understandable way. We will now move to the operations of the signals in this next example.